celebrating the spirit of the Central Coast. This is KSBY 6 Action News, update at 11. With Adrian Moore, meteorologist Rob Karlmark, and Ryan Bennett on sports. Now, the most watched local news at 11. And I'm Ryan Bennett, live from Mustang Stadium. Mustangs finally at home. How are they doing? we got a live report coming up next in sports. And now, KSBY 6 Action News Sports. Well, after a week-long wait, it was on the number 22 team in the nation, the Kepali Mustangs, traveling for the second consecutive week, this time against the number 14-ranked Montana State Bobcats. Polly started the season 2-0, trying for 3-0, and did they do it? Of course they did. How about that? The Mustangs go into Montana State. They win 27-14. Adam Martinez uh, scored the touchdown uh, to make it from 20-14 to to 27-14. to That's your two-minute drill. Not too many fights anymore that I would like to pay, you know, pay-per-view because they're yeah. like 50 bucks. But that's one of them that might not be too shabby to watch. And we were watching the video from earlier today, and that he's yeah. called the Executioner. Mr. Hopkins is one bad hombre. That's going to be a good sorry, fight I'm sorry. You couldn't pay me that's to hop in the ring with him. No <laughs> way. It's going to be a good fight tonight. We'll have the results Ooh. tonight. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Well, get ready to If you look here. closely, there's Dave wow. Wallace. Was Dave Wallace in that show? I, you know, oh, I was going to say something, but I... I... It looked like him a little bit. And the amazing part... In the Lederhosen. The amazing part... Yeah, the no one ever gets drunk on that night either. Never. Can you that? Never. Hard to believe. That's going to do okay. it for us tonight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Good night. <laughs> he's going to keep going. Hey, happy Labor Day weekend. Thanks for staying up late with us. Nice to have you aboard. I am Ryan Bennett. For the next uh, 15, 20 minutes, whatever they give me, I take as we take you around the very busy sports world. We first start with baseball, and it's the last month of the regular season. And we still don't have a clue who's going to be the wild card or division winners. The Oakland A's and uh, New York Yankees, though, battling for both positions tonight for Sunday Night Baseball. While well, we can guess right now, we'll find out here in, what, three weeks when the playoffs start? How about that? And by the way, the Angels and A's, they'll meet six more times before the end of the season. So plenty of time. These two teams are going to continue to flip back and forth. It's going to be fun to see what happens as we close it up. As we close it up tonight uh, on your Memorial Day weekend, we look back at these Angels and A's. What a great season it's been for both these teams. And for one team, they will be your AOS division champs. The other team, they hope for a wild card berth, but they might be on the outside looking in. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching tonight's Sunday Night Sports Show. Indeed it is. Welcome one, welcome all. It is the Super Bowl edition of the Sunday Night Sports Show. I'm Ryan Bennett. And for the next, uh, what do they give me, 20 minutes or so, we take you through a busy, busy uh, sports weekend. And we first start with the big daddy, the granddaddy of them all is what they call the Rose Bowl. But you can say the same thing for the Super Bowl. As the New England Patriots were looking for the labeled dynasty, as if they could win their third Super Bowl in four years. That would, that would attain that title. Meanwhile, for the Philadelphia Eagles, they saw a medical miracle when Terrell Owens not only played in football's biggest game, but played very, very well. For our Sunday Night Sports Show, we will take you from football to basketball. Both the Los Angeles teams were in action tonight. We will have those highlights, tell you how they did. But first, let's show you tonight's sports poll question. A lot of people want to compare Tom Brady with Joe Montana, the former 49er Hall of Famer. Here's our sports poll question tonight. Who is a better quarterback at this point of their career? Pick up the phone call, 597-8416. That's 597-8416. Is it Joe Montana or is it Tom Brady? We'll add those comparisons up for you a little bit later as the Sunday Night Sports Show rolls on. And welcome back to the Sunday Night Sports Show. I tell you what, before we... Uh, Took that break if some of us are just joining us right now. Let's show you tonight's sports poll question. Trying to figure out who's a better quarterback at this point of their career. Do you like the Hall of Famer Joe Montana or the way this guy's playing? It will be uh, soon to be Hall of Famer Tom Brady. Pick up the phone right now. Call 597 8416. It's 597 8416. And vote, and we'll have those results for you coming up here in a few minutes. 
All right, before tonight's uh, Super Bowl took place, there was plenty of basketball as the Los Angeles Lakers took on Tracy McGrady and the Houston Rockets. Let's take you out for this one. Couple young Rocket fans from it going away by five strokes. All right, still more to come on the Sunday Night Sports Show, including tonight's sports poll question. Who you like? Who's better at this stage of their career? Is it Tom Brady or is it Joe Montana? Call 597-8416. We'll tally them up half of those final results for you on the Super Bowl edition of your Sunday Night Sports Show. All right, welcome back to the Sunday Night Sports Show. I tell you what, a couple quarterbacks have had an amazing career so far. The young man won another Super Bowl championship, but where do you rank him? Who's the best? Let's show you tonight's sports poll question. Who was a better quarterback at this point in his career? Very, very close, very tight, but Tom Brady, I don't think he can go wrong. Three Super Bowl championships. He's only played four years other than the one year behind Bledsoe. I'm Ryan Bennett. Thanks for watching the Sunday Night Sports Show. We'll catch you next weekend. Previously on The Surreal Life. I just know that the suspense is killing me. I'm curious about, like, if we really go into, like, a news station or not. I don't think they'll let us do the news. Oh. And today, you're going to be making a news product. There are still responsibilities that you have to adhere to. Oh, and, uh, Cece, you you're doing sports. Great, great. And then we have uh, two teams of a reporter, field producer, and we're going to let you just... Hey, can I tell you what you're doing today? Yeah, can tell I, me. Can I, can I show you a story? The baddest man on the planet is right here on the Central Coast. His name's Chuck Liddell. Okay, Chuck he's, Liddell. He's, he's the ultimate fighting champion. Oh, okay, great. We're going to the light heavyweight champion, Chuck Liddell's gym, where he works out, and you're going to interview him. Does this man have a sense of humor? No. Great. Hey, Chelsea. How are you? It's nice to meet you. We've been shaping everything. Oh my God, I'm scared to death. Dealing with this world that I don't know. And they're pretty hardcore. Maybe we should do the interview What's first. Interview? Since you're all dressed this way I'm all dressed and then we'll go in and I'll show you a couple things yeah. that made me famous. Yeah. Running away. Yeah. Bust into this yeah. ring, so love me. I had to wrestle one of his students, uh, this girl, who was just incredible. Okay, now take it easy on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, ding! You couldn't anticipate where the next one was going. Yeah? Oh, God. Wait, which is worse? The first time you ever played uh, your first this. gig or this? This. I'm saying to myself, you know, this is about the time you really should knock a couple down. Completely, completely sober, and anything can happen. You gotta come back right here. 20 seconds. No IFB? Uh, your, uh, I'm like, nah, nah, you know, and they're like, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. I'm like, no, I'm not, I've never done this. I'm not gonna be fine. Check him out. <laughs> you guys check him out. Oh. oh, get that hair done. Stand by. Welcome back. You know, CeCe DeVille is one of our great, great rock guitarists, and I think you're gonna be equally as good at, well, at sports casting. I hope so. I gotta tell you something, Flo. I had an interesting assignment today. I am still sitting on an ice pack as a result of it. Oh. But anyway, uh, the story goes that hard rock can be hard work. But in order to be rock hard, I had to put some real work in today. I know better than to get in the ring with Chuck Liddell. And this afternoon, I found out why. This former Cal Poly wrestler is also a UFC champion from right here on the Central <laughs> Coast. <laughs> now, watch this, watch this. We had our stare down, and I could tell I intimidated. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, <that's good. laughs> but these guys are legit athletes. They are very professional, and at the end, I had to tap out. Jeez. That girl, that kickboxer really hurt oh, you. Oh, no, she did hurt me. She broke my heart, too. <laughs> and my ego, I'll tell you. Uh, you, to you did a great job, But CC. thank you very much. Thank you. Be good. And now, the weather outside is warm and breezy, so you stay with us. We'll be right back. Good job. All right. All right. That's the first time he's ever worked sober. To see how thrilled he was and that he could do that and do it so well. It was great. Good job. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> I did that sober. And considering how bad it could have been, I was happy. I was happy with the performance. This is really gonna make us grow as people. Because we're being thrown.
that we wouldn't do, but I'd be scared. Okay, well, certainly. And you go face to fear, you go through. <laughs> this was a great experience for me. I'd love to have more days like that in my life. I loved it. I really loved it. <laughs> Now, Ryan Bennett and the Sunday Night Sports Show. Welcome one, welcome all. What a busy, busy weekend we've had. Lots of uh, basketball. We got uh, March Madness to talk about. We got some uh, NBA basketball. We also got a world-class fighter in the house tonight. We'll tell you all about that coming up in a few minutes. We first start with what else but March Madness, and there will be a Central Coast team in March Madness, but it's the ladies of UCSB. Still plenty more to come on the Sunday Night Sports Show, including a local Central Coast man who has his eye on a world championship. Plus, he stars on a reality TV show. The Iceman, Chuck Liddell, joins us in the studio next. My next guest will be fighting for a world title on April 16th at the sold-out MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. San Luis resident Chuck Liddell. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you, man. He's Good big time. Now. I have to like, go through agents to get him. He's in video games. He's, he's big time. Looking good. Anyway, anyway. Oh, I like this shot, man. Vernon Tiger White, you heard him, man. Good. Yeah, I don't think it did either. Knocked him out. We've seen that a lot, actually, but we'll, we'll talk about more of that in a second. Not only are you fighting for a title, I want to get to that in a moment, but the interesting part, you're on a reality TV show, getting huge ratings on Spike TV. I want you to tell a little bit about the fans about what you're doing. You're on national TV every Monday night. Yeah, well, uh, I'm actually coaching, and me and Randy are actually coaching two teams that are fighting against each other, and uh, they're com competing for, they're 16 guys originally, and they're competing for two spots on uh, on the uh, in the UFC. They want uh, contracts with the UFC. So these guys want to be what you're doing right now. We've right. got a shout out of all these guys. 16 guys, they show up in a house. It's kind of like real world style where yeah. they lock them in a house. Yeah, they lock them in a house. They don't, they don't let them watch TV. They don't let them do, they don't let them do a whole, whole, whole lot other than uh, train and, uh, and, and fight. You're the coach. I see you walking. Uh, that, that guy's name is Bobby Southworth, who's competing. Yeah. Uh, basically, these guys, they, they truly fight on this reality TV show. What, the loser gets kicked off? Yeah, well, it, it, they have the challenges, and if someone gets kicked off because of a challenge, but you have the, uh, uh, the way to stay on is by winning a fight against someone from the other team. Are you a mean coach? Do you harass the guys, or are you pretty laid back? You see, you're a pretty I'm laid a, back guy. I'm a pretty guy, laid back but... guy. I mean, I, I, I want them to work hard, make them work hard, but all these guys showed up to train. These guys showed up to fight. You know, they want, they want to be fighters, and they all, they, when, they did, when they came out to practice, they trained. They trained hard. Some of the stuff they've done in the house now that I see is a little crazy. <laughs> I, I've been watching the show. We didn't get to see all that. They didn't let us see what went on in the house. But, uh, you know, what, the stuff, when they show up to the gym, these guys are ready to train. They train hard. Like you said, one of these guys will get a UFC contract, and maybe we'll see him. I wouldn't want to fight this guy. Are you kidding me? Maybe one of them will. We'll see how it goes. Hey, speaking of fighting, you got a fight coming up in a couple weeks. The amazing part about this, uh, the show is almost sold out already. They're, they're going to pack 15,000 fans at the MGM Grand, which will be the largest crowd in UFC history. You're facing this guy, Randy Couture, an Olympic-quality wrestler. You faced him before, and I hate to show this video, but... Yeah. He got you. He got you. Yeah, I, I was, uh, wasn't in uh, great shape for this fight. and uh, um, No, I don't think he did. I don't think he... Actually, I finally watched it the other day. I hadn't watched it in a long time, and uh, I don't think he beat me as bad as uh, as it looked. You know, I okay. And then I like, show you getting knocked, knocked. Well, out. I, I mean, he's hitting me. I'm hitting him. It's, no, you were. It was not, a good fight. It was a good it was fight. A, it was what? a good fight back and forth. But I, I was just out of shape. I mean, I, I was tired after the first uh, in the first round. What do you have so. to, do, to do differently? Because Randy Couture right now is the champion. You're the number one contender in the world. You guys are gonna be banging it out here in a couple of weeks. What do you gotta do differently the, to get a win? Well, the big, the biggest thing I gotta do is show up in shape. But uh, I, I'm training, training good now. I'm in great shape right now. I still got, still got four weeks left. Got a great training camp going right now. Everything, everything's going well. So uh, yeah, you know, I, I was talking about it. He's, he's on video games. Here's, here's the shirt of the Ultimate Fighter. You can see that on TV. You're doing video games. You're in front of 15,000 people on national TV. Are you nervous going to this fight? Do you, do you feel? I mean, there's so much pressure on you going to this fight. No, I don't. You know, I don't feel feel the pressure for this fight. I I, I enjoy fighting. I'm, I I enjoy getting out there. It's gonna be fun. I mean, uh, I'm looking for. I've been looking forward to this fight since since he beat me the first time. I thought I should have won that fight before. I thought I was a better fighter. He actually he executed better, and you know, I, I and I'm ready for. I'll be ready for him this time. So. You know, you know, it's funny for the people that don't realize this man here graduated from Cal Poly. What would tell people you graduated? People, people uh, think you're a I, fighter, but you're a I'm smart a guy too, I was a man. business major with a accounting concentration. See yeah. that? 
You can do you can do ta tax tax season, man. Come nah, on. No, I'll stay away from taxes. My accountant can do my taxes. <laughs> Doing well. He's doing. He's doing a great job, and you can see him fight. Uh, before we let you go, let's show you a couple uh, things uh, to promote the show coming up. Here it is: Monday nights, 11 p.m. Spike TV. Uh, the finale, finale is coming up on April 9th. Uh, well, so it'll actually be live. So that's yeah, so check that out. It's gonna be, be live. Fun. So check him out tomorrow night on Spike TV, highest rated show on Spike TV's network. He's he's doing it, coaching that. And then of course, don't forget about the pay per view coming up here. Uh, UFC 52. It's at the MGM Grand. Like I said, if you want tickets. Well, good luck, because you don't have much time to, to get him. It's almost sold out as we speak. Chuck Liddell, Randy Couture fighting for the light heavyweight world title in the UFC. Before I let you go, what's your prediction? Knockout? I'm planning on knocking him out in the later rounds. So. All right. All right. We yeah. look forward to it. That's he he hasn't lost hardly at all. So he's looking forward to avenge that one loss to Randy Couture. Always good to see you, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. My hand, too. My God. All right. We've got to wrap it up. We'll come back with our sports poll question right after this. And welcome back to the Sunday Night Sports Show. I tell you what, for those of you just joining us, uh, let's show you tonight's sports poll question. Want to know which California team will go the furthest in the NCAA tournament? Well, 55% of you called in said Stanford will be that team. 25% called in and voted for UCLA and Pacific, bringing up the rear at 20%. I tell you what, all three teams, they definitely got a shot at uh, trying to win that first round game. And of course, we will see what happens. Look forward to that. All right, time to wrap it up. Thanks for joining us. We do it every Sunday night. Get your brackets ready, people. It's going to be a lot of fun. March Madness, the craziness of the round ball. Dave Wallace will have more coming this week about UCSB. We'll see how they do against Notre Dame. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'm Ryan Bennett. We'll catch you next weekend. left an Ogden father dead and sent several others to the hospital. The Utah Highway Patrol says the crash happened last night around 5 near Fillmore in Millard County. Troopers say the 35-year-old driver, identified as Ryan Bennett, was with his family when their SUV drifted onto the freeway shoulder. Bennett tried to swerve the vehicle back onto the freeway but lost control. The SUV rolled five times and tumbled into the median before it came to a stop. Bennett's four-year-old daughter was thrown from the vehicle and was flown to Primary Children's Medical Center. Bennett's wife and the couple's three other children were also injured and taken to hospitals. Troopers say Bennett was partially ejected from the SUV and died at the scene. Finally today, the thing about goodbyes is that they are rarely for keeps, and we really never know when we are saying goodbye for the last time. We said goodbye to Ryan Bennett in January when he left KSPY to pursue other endeavors in television. It didn't feel like goodbye, not until last night. Sometimes the goodbyes we mean to say just come too late. And thanks for staying up late. Nice to have you aboard on this Sunday Night Sports Show. I'm Ryan Bennett. For the next 20 or so minutes, what did they give me? I try to give you a ton of sports. Ryan Bennett, to be sure, was not given enough time with us here on Earth. But he never failed to fill the time he had with fun and with love. <laughs> Advantage. Mike Peppy the Clown. Ryan's unfiltered passion for life was infectious, and he reached out to just about everyone, sometimes quite literally. Just ask Tony Coppola. He's smiling in this picture because Ryan is pinching his backside. True story. And there we go. Hey, thanks to this live TV at its best, people. I'm Ryan Van Beautiful Solving. Whether the camera was rolling or not, Ryan was always on and in the best possible sense. And his demeanor was so disarming, so welcoming, so inclusive, that he probably would have been a great success in any number of professions. But getting to know people and telling their stories was Ryan's passion, and all of us here at KSBY were richer for it. 
Let's we gotta tie him down or something. He's tough here. All right, here we go. He forgot to bring his pink slip. <laughs> I play for pink slip. We were lucky enough to be part of the Ryan Express for the better part of five years, watching the Bennett family grow, watching Ryan's passion for life grow as well. When remembering Ryan Bennett, it's not hard to remember the good times. They were almost all good times. It's just sad the good times have to end, and that they end by saying goodbye to our very dear friend. No, I won't let you leave. paid to knock guys out. It's not a bad living if you're good at it. If you're not good, you see what happens. Now one guy in San Luis Obispo is very good at it. His name is Chuck Liddell. Now Chuck got into the sport of ultimate fighting, you could say in a roundabout way. I mean, I, I enjoy, it's something I've always enjoyed doing. I, I haven't done martial arts since I was 12 and um, I've been doing wrestling and and I did kickboxing for fun, and this is just a combination of everything I've ever done. Now, believe it or not, he feels the no-hold-barred competition is not as dangerous as other sports. It's, I mean, it's no more bumps and bruises. Actually, I got beat up more wrestling in college, I think, than I, than I have in fighting. And combined kickboxing and, and no-holds-barred fighting, I mean, wrestling took more of a toll on my body than anything. He he's made a good name for himself in the UFC. So good that he's actually in a video game. There's Cyber Liddell on the right. Now when he's not fighting, he's teaching. All comers, including yours truly. So I spend an hour learning from the master to become an ultimate fighting champion. Not sure why I'm doing this, but there's obviously little hope for some of us. Now after an hour, it was time to test my skills in the ring against the champion. <laughs> yeah, I don't like my chances either. We had the customary stare down. I was scared out of my mind and pretty much knew I was a dead man. And my corner? Well, let's just say they didn't have too much confidence in me either. If, if that doesn't work, what do I do? Uh, what you want to try to do is you want to try to, like, run. So okay. with that confidence run. builder, it was time to get it on. In round one, a takedown. Round two, another takedown. Round three, you get the point. Then it was time for the kicks to the head. And that one really hurt. And finally I landed my first punch and my last punch in the pseudo fight. It was a jab and if you blinked, you missed it. But I did do damage. That was mine, that was my doing right there. That was pretty wicked, Chuck, huh? You all right, you got concussion or anything, you all right? Uh, I think I'm doing okay, but right, man. we'll check later. Now I did have some battle scars. The headache was a given, but the blister on the foot, yow, that was not fun. So I realized what it takes to be a fighter, and I also realized I'm probably the worst ultimate fighter on the planet.
I can easily say that in my 10 plus years working in the business, I never met a finer, a nicer, a more genuine person than Ryan Bennett. Welcome to a sold out HB Pavilion in San Jose, California for an historic night of fighting. Shamrock and Gracie finally happening after all these years. By all accounts, Ryan Bennett was living a dream. I think Frank Shamrock making the big time as a mixed martial arts television announcer. He emailed me just a few days ago and he was showing me pictures of the new house that they had built in Utah and he had told me in that email, this is the happiest I've ever been. And that was just a few days ago. Last night, while traveling with his wife and four children in Utah, the tire on Bennett's SUV blew, forcing it to roll several times. 35-year-old Ryan Bennett died at the scene. His wife, Tanya, and their four children were rushed to the hospital with serious to moderate injuries. News of Ryan Bennett's death traveled fast to San Luis Obispo, where it knocked the wind out of professional fighter Chuck Liddell. Actually still in shock a little bit, you know. Liddell and Bennett became close friends as the two pursued their own MMA careers in and out of the ring. It's still kind of weird to me, you know. I'm used to seeing the fights now because the movie has moved away and stuff, so it's going to take a while to settle in. Ryan Bennett was a rare multimedia talent on the Central Coast. He launched a mixed martial arts website, and welcome back to worked for ESPN Radio, and was a longtime weekend sports anchor for KSBY TV. We're, we're grieving the loss of uh, a remarkable broadcaster and a wonderful human being. Tonight he's making his MMA debut. Ryan Bennett's easygoing style and friendly nature made him a crowd favorite on and off the air. Ryan was such a, a great guy had such positive values, always upbeat, never had a bad day. And I think that's what we're really going to, to miss about.